One of the most interesting aspects of what we've developed here at Synaptec is that it isn't simply hardware. It's certainly based on hardware and we need equipment to provide the sensors and to interrogate the information coming from the sensors to provide all the simple services that we need to do. Uh, this is protection and automation and control or asset management in power systems. But it's software as well. What we have are uh, large, very wide-scale networks of passive sensors deployed in all these interesting positions. And while there isn't a problem with the electrical network and there isn't a fault, they're still streaming information which is valuable. And so we've been developing software as well as hardware to say, let's capture and make use of that data and use it either to make decisions smarter or to automate the condition monitoring of those assets or to improve the long-term productive life of those assets. And the software aspect of this is critical because it means we're able to visualize with very simple dashboards what's happening live in real time on your network in places which otherwise could take a day to reach. We've got the ability to correlate all this data coming from all these locations. We know where it happened, we know what it was, we know when we took the measurement, and you build a database over time. Looking at the trends that that's telling you, you start to notice patterns and you start to notice anomalies, and that takes you into the realm of predictive maintenance and avoiding catastrophic faults and being able to remedy them before they go too far. So while we've developed this technology to meet all of the exacting standards that you'll find in transmission and distribution environments, which is also the same as offshore wind, we've ended up with a technology which is applicable to other markets. We've started exploring, for example, how it could help with subsea oil and gas platforms. Uh, we're talking to the operators and owners of national railway systems who have very similar needs. They have an electrical power system on one hand and they have a need for greater visibility and monitoring and control of overhead lines or uh, the rolling stock that goes up and down the lines, coaches and wagons effectively. There are applications potentially in civil aviation uh, and ultimately even in other comparable utilities. So we're thinking about gas and oil we've mentioned, but it could be water. Uh, these are similar because you have an extensive network uh, which is very inaccessible. In the case of water supply, you're thinking about water pipes and sewage tunnels which are running around underneath countries and cities and are extremely difficult to access with people. It's much better if you can automate the visibility and control of them from far away using technology instead of people looking for problems. So we've discovered as our company has evolved that once we've made products and technologies which are achieving the highest levels of accuracy and dependability which are required by transmission, that it's applicable to a lot of other markets. And we never know where it'll be taking us next, but there's certainly a bright future for Synaptic when you consider that anywhere we can reach, which is hard or dangerous for people to go, is a benefit and will save time, cost and money and improve on safety.